I still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. Used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burned, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal.
Артем, стой у нас. Where to now? Left across the square. Hey, Demir, do you think the colonel knows what Artem been up to here? How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. He radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. Hey, you, leave him alone. I killed him myself. Ah, with my slingshot. Let him learn to stand up for himself. How else can he hope to survive in the metro? Rise and shine, people. Hang in there, Artem. You're gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now. Doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6. But you leave. People need you. And you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop! There's only Metro, nothing else. And the Order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So, get ready to go. Then, we'll discuss your transfer to police. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but people are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Still, lucky those Spartans are damn good. They brought Artyom here just in time. They sure are. I cannot remember the last time I... So I want to help you and fit people down here. Nah, me neither. It's a shame they spend so much time on the surface. Artyom, just try to take better care of yourself, huh? Even if you find someone else out there, they probably have their own troubles. So what would contacting them even accomplish? Besides, I remember we used to receive signals from the outside pretty frequently soon after the bombs fell. But not for a long time now. Doesn't that tell you anything? Ah well, it's your life. Artyom, 
I understand how you feel, but you're not always going to save the Metro single-handedly. Why keep looking for a solution alone? Your friends from the Order came to your help again. The Colonel seems to want you back in the unit. Why waste your time in our farming station, or out there looking for ghosts? If Sparta wanted me, I'd join in a heartbeat. Eh, in any case, good luck, Artyom. Yeah, no, me neither. It's a shame they spend so much time on the surface. I left the order, yeah, and now nobody gets to decide for me. As for our job. Oh, I can't believe my eyes! Artyom! You're all right! You gave Ooh, us a scare, Duke. brother! Artyom! How are you, friend? I see Pardon you're all me, right. gentlemen, give this way! This calls for a celebration! Artyom! A few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman! Speaking of which, Alyosha, how are you the nurses on the side, huh? Could you just stop crowding him? <sighs> Welcome back, Artyom. Ah, ah, previat, Artyom. All right, you're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. it's a fish. Yeah. I knew it. You guys are like so this. I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom. to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Move it. We don't need any extra radiation, darling. Oh, Father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa off-limit zone. <laughs> Have you been to all these ruins? <sighs> See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. Look, maybe you should come back to the order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in terms here. It's not stable enough. Careful. At least it held. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa! Hear that? <laughs> D 
Did you hear that? Again! from the roof and decided to ambush us. The beasts are getting smarter. Let's pick up the pace. Now the whole area knows we're here. Just what we need. A draw. We're lucky the mutants hate each other as much as they hate us. I really don't get why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. Stop. The pack is here. So, do we turn this place into Thermopylae, or do we let them pass? Wait it out. Looks like that was all of them. I'm glad they didn't notice us. That was a large pack. Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that. We take the bridge to cross the railroad. It would save us a detour. Damn, too high. Hey, Hatyam, help me get out there. Oh, yeah. 
Picked up two more individuals at the railroad bridge. One of them is the order commander's daughter. You should have checked first, assholes. Artyom, thank God. These people, they're Hansa, not the order. Assholes. Oh, they did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one Look, for what's that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole metro about this. The heck and the boy out! Hey, you people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back. Watchmen broke through. Uh, the workers are done for. Keep your weapon trained on the open. If anything comes through, shoot. But what did we forget here? I wonder. This doesn't look like we're going to get much of anything from guarding this place. Safe and fun. Attention! The turntable is switching on.
for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance. Too many guards. But we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't rush, though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. Sneaking to it now? Stay close to the wall. Technician B. Your mark, is that you? What are you mumbling? Come here and help me fix this. Yes, sir. Got me already. Come on, come on. Fixing this should be nothing for you. Take him down. Can you do it quietly? Your swagger bones. What's with that mumbling? Distracting him. Look, there's some garbage around. Throw some. Great. Now throw it. I hope. Well done. Control units damage. Morons! We are at war! Warn 
that won't be enough for you now, you What is this equipment? This is the universal broadband radio chamber. What? It stops Moscow from hearing anyone, and them from hearing us. Shit. This fucking sucks. Do you hear that, Artyom? You were right all along. Do you see? It's not just Russia out there. It's the whole world. Oh my god. What for? Because the war is still going on. And you behave like fucking cats. All the guards will be here soon. Damn. Don't shoot. With him. With him. With you. You have to run. Is this yours? They just left it sitting there. We must get out before they recover. Get ready, people. Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Here, quick! Let's go. Oh, Who are you? Andrei Ivanovich Yermak, the train engineer. Run now! Just get to the hangar, then God willing, I'll get you out of here. They know me, so I'll get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, ah, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope. Hey guys, Be careful. Artyom, I see the enemy. <sighs> Give me a boost. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Artyom. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. Good job, Bart. 
Studium. We're inside. You can take the mask off, Artyom. Now we have to find your mask. He's in the base! There's these people! won't let us get away. We have to do something about this. Do something about the Am I glad to see you here? Are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. All right. We don't have much time. We'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there and Come switch on, the young. turntable mechanism on. And please, be careful. We can easily have the whole base on us.
Come on, Artyom, we don't have all day. survive alone. There, in the ravine, there are people from other cities, dead. All of them, women, children. I'll tell you all later. Everything. Gramps, what's going on out there? Down this road. The road is fine. At least until a hundred click mark. Is there a safe place to stop nearby? Of course. We have to make haste, though. They called the cruiser. Right, gentlemen. Artyom and Anna have just made a huge mess. And I can't go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they'd be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to not my this call, and you're not. misunderstanding. Well, the I'll general. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course, Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. There's no one behind. 
Fire! Will you let us go if we stop? 